Oh my god, it's so hot. Hi everybody. I'm back. I'm Shauna and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Um I know there's a lot of people make, making gnomes. Um, so I'm not trying to say, oh look at my, you know. What I'm trying to say is there's all kinds of gnomes out there. And everybody, no matter if they're similar to somebody else's, they're always different. So in that case, let me show you something that I made the other day, and I thought it was pretty cool. This is my groom. I called him the Big Nose Groom. One, he has a big nose. Two, he has nostrils. And the secret to him is the nostrils, as well as what's holding up his hat. So I'm sure you guys probably seen a lot of these. But everything on here is a Dollar Tree. So that's pretty cool. Um, keep everything as cheap as we can because money's tight for everybody all the way around, no matter who you are. Um, and everybody likes to save money. So here's this other little tea bit here. The socks, Dollar Tree, a buck eight for the set, obviously. You get a set. And also there's another type of sock under here which made the nose, which is also a buck eight. So we're at two sixteen. So now here's his beard. While I'm at, I don't have the luxury of just going to a fabric store or Walmart and purchasing the fool that everybody else has used, so I had to improvise. So, Dollar Tree only makes one, unfortunately, but it's a duster. Oh, come back here. Okay, I'll just, there you go. It's a duster. And we're just going to use that and make our little gnome here. A big nose gnome. Let me set him down. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I've been sick for about a week and a half now. It's just between that and allergy, it sucks. So the first thing we're gonna do is comes this whole thing comes about three dollars and thirty-two cents. And you get to make two gnomes out of it, but only one with this. I'll tell you why. I have tried to separate them and when you separate them it just all falls apart it rips it leaves all these great pieces in between them so it simply does not work so i do cut it a little, little but this time we're gonna wait and see if we have to cut it so once again the build part is from the dollar tree uh feel free to use whatever you want you know whatever you can find just try to keep it cheap because that's the whole point of trying to keep it cheap um, so you don't have to spend a lot of money. I'm going to go ahead and bring you down. Watch your eyes. Someday I might have the better technology. But for now, this is what I got. I have a cup. And what we're going to do is take all socks. What you know, guys? I'm so sorry. Watch out, Anna. My puppy's by my feet. I got everything out but my socks. And my squeaky chair. Hi, babies. No, no, this ain't goodies. Not for you. Sorry about that, guys. So, when you go to Dollar Tree, they look something like this. You can be all kinds of socks. I'm actually going to make a red one today. You only need one of these and a sock. Well, by a set, but one of the socks. One of each. Um, I might use two. Depends. Depends on how you like the bottom of it. If you don't want the bottom cover, you want the white to show, you may only need one sock. But if you want the bottom not to show, you may use them both. But still, it's only a buck eight. Let me take out the little plastic pieces. Make sure you put those in the garbage can because you don't want your puppies or your kitties or your wee ones getting a hold of those because they can be quite dangerous, which we all know that. So what we're going to do is these are what we will need for a little gnome. Right here, this is it, besides a glue gun and glue stick. Everything's Dollar Tree. Oh, and a little secret piece to go in the middle. So we're going to set those aside. We're going to take our white one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside my little cup. Unfortunately, I just got my little cup because I'm actually drinking out of my other cup. Got my water in it. And the other, oh, there's one more thing, you guys, rice. I recommend the Dollar Tree rice. 
And if you have the leaves, the bay leaves, or is it called bay leaves? I always get that backwards. The bay leaves, um, put it inside. Unfortunately, I don't have anything. Uh, one of my kids was allergic to them, so we can't have them in a the household. So I try basil and everything to try to to simulate that. But put the bay leaf inside of it. Helps keeps away the bugs. Because it is rice, and you know, rice ends up getting bugs. And then your project is ruined. got to throw everything away. You can't sell them. But if you put something in there to prevent that from happening, you got it made. You can also use stuffing. Which mine is hiding. God only knows where. <laughs> Ever since I moved, I can't move my into my craft room. I can't find things. Um, also, you can use those little uh, foam <laughs> things you can get at Dollar Tree. Why are you two being mean to each other? Knock that off right now. Sorry, the puppy and Anna are just being mean. Okay, so once again, you can get the rice at the Dollar Tree, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and dump some rice in here and just fill this up. As you go, go ahead and push it down some. The reason why I say Dollar Tree rice is you don't want to waste a lot of money. You get real good rice. I'm not saying Dollar Tree rice isn't because I do eat it. Um, but you want to be able to eat your food. And if you want to put the stuff in, that's even better. Safe food. I hate wasting food. But in this case, I can't find my stuffing and I made a promise. So promise it was to show how to do my nose so here we go what i'm gonna do is fill that up so much i got a small cup so we're just gonna make it go down and if you look at it i would have a very small gnome and not even very fat so we're gonna add more rice and put it right back in here you know i do actually have rice on the bottom let me go ahead and dump that in here i may make a mess but we're gonna dump it in here i had leftover white rice for one of my big nose and i just dumped it out Puppy, yeah, these are not food. Well, not for you. And we'll go ahead. My little puppy thinks I have some food for her. Because when she was so little, we just would bring her food in here, sit on the table, and we literally had a here, 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 you know, hand deal. So now we'll just add some more rice. And sometimes if your cup isn't big enough and you don't like out walking, just improvise. You see how big he be now. Now compared to my other big nose, he'd be kind of small. So we're still going to add. And you know, I think I'm just going to do it the way I'll probably make a huge mess. And that's probably why I had rice in it from last time too. Huh? I'm just going to go ahead Sorry about the crackling noise. And try to dump some in here without it going everywhere. Okay, because I want them a little wee bit bigger. And we're going to just squish that down. And what do you think? Is he about good enough? I think he's okay. So we're going to go ahead. Now, instead of a rubber band, you guys, you can use a rubber band. But I'm using a twist tie. Well, one, because it was sitting right here. I don't know. It, it came from my other video, I'm sure. Well, I know it did. I just didn't use it and didn't put it up. And the gnome brought it back over. So I thought, hey, we'll just recycle this, right? Then what I say? Always recycle. The best you can. Save money. So there's our little body of our little gnome. Not as big or plump as some people may like. But that's okay. Now, the secret is don't cut this off, guys. Don't cut it, okay? We definitely want this because this is going to save us money. I'm going to go ahead and add some more little rice inside my cup here. And the nose now. You're going to fold this down or at least open. And you're going to go ahead and pour some more rice right in this little piece here. Oops. Make sure you open it up. Don't do what I just did. And just pour your rice right in there. Now, make sure it goes down just like you would your gnome or snowman. And get a good hold of it. This is where you're going to decide how you want it. How do you want your nose, gnome, nose to look? Oops, come on. It's trying to fall away before I get a chance to adjust. I think... 
We're going to go ahead and do it that way. On this side, in case you're wondering, I was debating which side I put it on. I don't really think it matters, to be honest with you, but we're going to do it right here anyways. All you're going to do is take it, push it down. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm adjusting this part towards the back. I don't want this part in the front of my gnome. But I do have to make sure I do not lose my rice. So I'm going to take a good look at my gnome here. Place his little nose however I may want it to be. And I'm going to say, that looks good. We're going to go ahead. Now, here's the fun part. This here piece right here that you have left over if you can just recycle that up and we're just gonna tie this on once again if you have a band feel free but I have this handy so we're just gonna use this let's quit that oh that, that dog is allergic to everything okay here's my big old nose okay that'll work now this back piece, guys, you could cut it off, but I'm not going to. I think it gives it a little more stability uh, protection for the nose. I'm actually just going to put some glue on the back of this. And on the inside of the back, I may actually regret doing that part first, but oh well. And we're just going to glue it down. Try not to get your fingers like I just did. And it's out of our way. Hey. It was that little bit that went on the back of this thing. Let me just wipe that off. There we go. Okay. So now we got our gnomes sitting here. And I got all these spider webs um, all over me and stuff from the thing. I'm going to take a stick. Oh, I need my pen. No, I need a pen that could be ruined. So if you just hand me another pen from over there. I forgot my pen. I was trying to keep one salt and pen, guys, instead of ruining a bunch. And for time's sake, we're just going to ruin that one. It doesn't have a lid, so I know it's no good. Thank you, Grandpa. Okay. Now, for our gnome nose, this is what's going to be the most time-consuming, but it's worth it. We're going to take our little gnome here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and glue down his nose. I didn't realize I forgot to do that. I'm not gluing it all the way down, guys. Just a wee bit. Just enough to hold it in place. You don't want to glue it down all the way because you're going to put his beard and everything here. I tend to do all that stuff last. And we can actually, you know what? Why don't we dress him and then do the nose and then we'll put on the beard. Because I think that's more of a logical solution here. So I take my red sock. I'm simply going to take my red sock. Uh, I'm going to put it on him from the bottom up all the way down and just see. And then I'm going to hide him and toss him aside and there's a Christmas gift. No, I'm joking. I'm just going to average out basically where I want to cut it. Okay. So we're going to set him aside, let him dry a little. He's still a little warm from the glue. What you do is you take your sock. And you normally cut slightly be below the heel. But since I really want him covered, I'm just going to cut above the heel. Because I want to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to um, cut above where I normally would cut. And just give it that wee bit extra. And you notice which part I'm keeping. I'm keeping a part that is enclosed. So we would take our gnome. And we're going to put him inside the sock. And then, oops, come on, sit up. I know you're not quite ready yet. We'll balance. And then we're just going to snug and pull and adjust this up the way we want it to be. Okay. So now that we got him up where we want him to be, of course, we want it to stay. So you're going to have to add some glue here and there, you know, just a little here. A little there to make it stay and just place that right inside that glue and just pull it nice and snug don't worry if it's not perfect you guys it's not going to show okay 
because once you're done, that'll be hidden. So let's turn him over. We're gonna go ahead, add a little bit more glue right around so, and we're just gonna pull this up into that glue. Okay, and you just do that all the way around until you have the whole bottom base at least glued somewhere. Okay, you want it to at least stay. Oops, caught my nail. And then, you guys, I've been trying. Have you guys looked up Red, the Mask Redhead channel? If not, please do so. She's a musician. We're trying to get her voice out there. Um, once again, it's Red, the Mask Redhead. And she don't have a picture on there, but if you see a picture with a smiley face on it or a kissy face, that's her. It blocks out her face. And um, the little icon itself, I think it's just a T or a mass red head. But anyways, she's amazing. We're trying to just get her out there, you know, give her some confidence in her own voice because she is amazing. And if you guys can get her to sing opera, you're lucky. Because, oh my God. Okay. So now we got our little guy covered. We got some clothes on our little man here. And he's all nice and form. We're going to go ahead and do his nose. So what I did with his nose, you guys, is when we got it there made. You know, these, you just kind of push and make them stand. You judge about where your nostrils will be. I've been using my nails and just pushing in it and readjusting as I go. Okay, I am going to lay him down because I do have to see the front of him. But what we're going to do is, for well, some people don't have nails, we're just going to take our pen and stab. Let's see, wait, let me make sure where I want him to be first before I do that. Okay, yep, I think that's good. So we're going to take our pen. Oh, this one did work. And we're just going to stab it in there. And get it started. Now I'm going to take a stick. I'm using this stick, you guys, to give it that roundness like the nostril would have. And I'm just poking it in there because our next step, we're going to get our other side about where we want them. And then you adjust everything after that. Now our next step to get this, believe it or not, hot glue gun right inside the nostril. Not too much. <laughs> Just enough to make it look like it has a little booger there. And take your pen, push it in. And push from the other side. You're trying to get that glue to link through and catch the rice or catch the other side or whatever it can catch. Now when you pull it out, yeah, it's going to be a little more difficult. But then you're going to just do it again and stick it right back in there. Like I said, this is the most time consuming. But if you look at the results, it's pretty cool. I think. And we're going to go ahead and add more glue. Because we do want it to be nice and form. I'm going to add my pen. And push from the other side. And the reason why that is. It just gives it that neat little shape. Try to get some rice in there with that glue. And we're just going to pull him out. Come on. Don't be a pain. So we got one nostril started. Now we're gonna have to get the other one started. I noticed this pen is leaving a mark, but once we put a little build on, um, you won't really be able to see that, so it's not gonna matter. But usually I use a dead pen or anything that is sharp enough to help poke it through. So there would be like our nose. We'll go ahead and get the other nostril started. Once again, guys, just take your pen, stick it in there. I'm not trying to rip a hole in it. I am just simply marking where it's going to go. We're going to go ahead and add a wee bit of glue right inside that hole. Take our pen back, stick it in there. I got a little more glue than I normally would. I wasn't paying too much attention. I was looking away. So we're just going to make it work anyways. And you just stick it right in there. Try to get it to hang on to some rice or something in there, you know. And we're going to pull it out again. And, of course, it pops out, you guys. So, just going to pop it right back in there.
You always have to be one side that's stubborn, right? Okay, we're going to add a wee bit more glue in here on this side. Fill up that hole again. And go ahead and take our pin back and whoops. And we're just going to poke it in there and let it sit for a second here. So our big nose is going pretty good. I like the fact that he actually has nostrils. I think that's like so bloody cool. Okay, let me pull this out. And real fast, grab my pencil, stick it right back in there. What is that, Grandpa? The balloon. Oh, they're going off. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not waking up red to go. Right. She's not feeling well. I think you can drop you off. No, it's fine. I still wouldn't get to see what we want to see anyway. So well, I can see what I want the other part here. Oh, I see. Well, it takes a few minutes. They it take them a while. You guys, we have hot blue gun uh, balloons going up. In case you're wondering what we're talking about, sorry about that. It takes a while for those things to be in flight and be ready to take off. So if you think you're gonna miss it, you know, because you're 10, 15 minutes late, no, you're not. It takes them that just to try to lay it out, not not to count blowing it up. We went once, and oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. Because we, like, only planned, like, an hour to be there. And it doesn't work that way. It was cool. Okay, guys. So now once we get our nostrils made, let me get back on track here. You're going to stay. Yes, it is. How about you? Now once we got our nostrils in there, we're going to go ahead and shape our nose. There we go. Okay, you guys can see this. I cannot. I got to turn it towards me real fast. And I think his nose needs to be flatter because he's supposed to be a gnome, right? Big nose gnome. And there's his nose. Now, our next step is we're going to let him drive and let his nose kind of just get hopefully more firm. And we're going to sit him aside and we're going to grab our little dust bunny here, if you will. Grab our gnome back just real super fast. On these little dusters, there was like this little in between here, you know, kind of like, well, they didn't, I don't know if they mismade it or what, but we just cut that out. <laughs> so, what I did is, we're going to see how long do I want his beard? I don't want it that long. You just judge how long you want it and you cut that part off that you don't want. Now, the only thing that really sucks with these, come on, let me toss that. In. Hi, baby. Is it's going to shred a little. Just take off any of the big hunks and lay the other ones down. Because once you glue it, you're not going to know it. Okay. So I'm just going to give it a little tiny curve right here. Because I felt like this little lump and I don't like that. And it will set better inside the gnome's nose area anyways. Let me just pull off all the extra. Once this is set, those those big honks, they won't come out no more because we're going to glue them. Bling back all big nose gnome. And you're going to lift his big nose. That's why I said don't glue it all the way. And we're going to go ahead and place, see where we want his. Okay, that looks good. And we're not putting the glue on the um, dust bunny here, the duster. We're going to put it on the gnome itself, right under the nose. A nice big amount, you guys. And we're just going to take this, find which side we want, and slide it right under his nose and push. I know you can't really see that. And you're just pushing it right in there. Don't worry about the nose not having the form you gave it, because we're going to give it back. Our next step will make it come back. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, so he just got his little beard on there. It's nice and long. It's dragging. So cool. And his nostrils are still there. That makes it work. I'm going to look at him real fast so I can even him out and get him going the way we want him to go. Now, you can do this with two pieces and just add them together if you don't like the way the sock looks. You can also remember we're going to hide that right now. Okay, if you remember. You don't have to. <laughs> now, we do have the leftover part of the sock. 
You can use this and make your hat, but I'm not going to. I'm going to bring this piece out and what I do with it. The secret. The secret, people. Okay, so we're going to just grab the secret right over here because apparently I stuck it back up here. No, 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 no. Come on. Hang on, folks. It won't take long. I just had, oh, there it is. I just had all these things out yesterday. We were making some uh, little hair things. Come on down. I'll just grab the whole thing. Let go. Okay, well, let go. Now, we're making some little hair thing for the event today. We're going to. Our secret is the stem. Whoops, stem off of a flower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. These are kind of thick. I usually take it off of a leaf, but we're gonna go ahead. I want the thicker part here. We're just gonna cut this off. I actually had one cut off. I really think it got mixed back in with these. And we're just gonna go ahead, cut the plastic, you guys, and you just bend and break that wire. Unless you got wire cutters, which mine, once again, God only knows. <laughs> what I did with it. I'm taking off my leaves because we don't need our leaves. I want the wire. Reason why? There you go. There's your little secret. The wire will bend. So what we're gonna do with this, you guys, I'm gonna bring you up slightly so that you may see. On the top of our gnome, we're just gonna glue this piece right in here. Okay, we're gonna make this stay. You can stab it if you want, put it in and glue it back or could have pre-done this or tied in with the tie. I, however, am going to put some glue in my glue gun. Oh, that's one thing about glue gun is once it goes down, doesn't matter how much glue in it, it won't come out. i got to put another one in. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a lot. And I mean a lot of glue right here. Once again, don't worry about it being a mess. No one's going to see that, you guys. Because there's another step coming. Um... You can take your tie or your material, if you haven't hooked it down too much already, which I already did, and just make it stay in there. Okay, we're just going to have to hold him, stab it right in there, just hold it a little. What happened, Grandpa? The 15-year-old was missing from Fayetteville, ran away, they found yeah. her safe. Oh, yay. Always glad. happy to hear when they find a the kid safe. We saw what that know what that means. My niece, great niece, ran away. Um, oh my gosh, it's been a year. We got her back safe. Thank God in heaven for that miracle. And they're working on things, but kids have problems too. We just gotta listen and do what we can to help. It it sucks. I know you guys all know this. It's just it's how. It's traumatizing to the entire family. Not just the mom and dad, but the entire family. Hi, Buckeye. Welcome. We're finishing up our big nose groom here. And I'm, right now, I'm getting a, a little stem here for the hat. All this is, I don't know how I didn't see you. Oh, well, thank you, Buckeye. I appreciate it. All we're going to do is hold that in there and make it stay. I am going to add a wee bit more glue just because I want to make sure it absolutely stays in there. And like I said, nobody's going to see this part, guys. So it really is okay if it's not all that pretty. This is just a makeup of your gnome. Yeah, think of it like makeup. This is literally makeup for a gnome. You're just putting his body together for the morning. <laughs> so now we're going to take our other little hat here. Uh, well, okay, guys. Soft. I'm using the same sock to match it, make him totally match. And I'm going to just flip it all the way over this stem. Oops. After I cut that piece off that I did not cut off. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Make sure I throw that away. You get a better hold of this piece here. You know what? I got some stuffing just laying here. I'm just going to stick that in there. Just to give it that extra support because it is being put snickly. But I will stay there now. Here we go, guys. Okay. So we're going to take your hat, your other sock, and I'm just going to gather it right over here so I can get it over that without it going through it. 
and get it to lay. And now we got to put his hat on him and attach it. The easiest part, guys, keep this straight, the stem straight. Let me raise you just a wee bit. If you keep the stem, stem straight while you do it, it's a lot easier. Okay, is he dry enough? I think he should be good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put all stock back on him again. Nice, simple, and easy. All the way to the bottom. It can poke out, guys. The one I used earlier, I didn't have that issue with it. But if it's going to poke out, let me show you a secret. What I mean poke out is a stem poking out through um, your top of your sock. The secret is you can add something there like a ball or just loop it down. I know you can't see this. Bear with me one second. I'll show you. I know, pup. Just make a little loop so it comes down so that short piece won't go through your sock, okay? We put our big nose right back here. I got all these little pieces coming off on me still. And we'll just loop that right back on. Yay! Yep, I got it. Thank you. Oh, the hat's Thank being... You. It's yeah, pain. Hang on, guys. I know what we're going to do. Where is it? Okay. I've never had this much problem attaching a stem. So, we're just going to rig it. We're going to add something more here. Towards the top part. And I'm actually just going to put a flower here. Let's make it the pretty side show. We're just going to put that flower there. We're just going to make it stay. You'll never see the flower, you guys. If I had more of the little pieces like this, that's all over me. Thanks, doggies. We're just going to make this stay. Give it some support. Because the stem had nothing to hang on to, I guess, on this one. The other one, no problem. This one being stubborn. Use that to push my hands. Protect my hands, I mean. Okay. Better. Alright, so. I still got all this stuff coming off on me. We'll go ahead and add this. <laughs> okay, now we're going to attach our hat. Just put that right over the top. And you know with the gnome... His little hat, let me find the bottom of this, will hide his eyes. That's a male caught that, I'm sorry. Hide his eyes. Since his sock is kind of big, you guys, and it's the same on both sides, basically. You can flip it if you want, give him a ridge. I, however, I'm just going to pull it over his nose. We're going to go ahead and put a wee bit of glue right on top just to get us started. So it will quit pulling it back. Because it's not totally dry. Let me pull this up. There we go. Get that to stay. And then this is where you start working on the back part. All you do with your sock is you bring it all the way around your fat little nose here. Because remember, he's a big gnome. Big nose gnome. And we just start gluing it down. You want to start attaching it. So we're going to go ahead and just add some glue right there and just add extra we don't have to do it twice let me just get that to attach i hate it when glue pops out because then it shows your glue and i just don't like that there we go okay and you're going to do that all the way around his little hat i know this is top heavy it won't be in a minute because we're not quite done these take a little while because of the nose, but they're really cool, you guys. Okay. Yeah, I've been out of the stuff you put on side because one of my kids just can't have it around on the bay leaves. Oh my god, guys, you ever been around bay leaf and someone gets a bay leaf and in their food or you put it around the house, whatever, because you like the smell? Um and they're allergic. Well, one of my kids, which is my great niece, she sneezed for about uh, five hours straight. We were ready to rush her to a hospital or try and get a hold of her mother. That poor kid. And then finally she passed out from exhaustion. 
So we just watched, or literally watched her all night long. She just had a allergic reaction to it. She didn't consume it, so we didn't have to rush her into the hospital. But we had no clue. Nobody knew this poor child was allergic to bay leaves. <laughs> but, man, that was something else. So all I'm doing, you guys, is I am attaching the little hat around his nose and trying to make it stay at it. <coughs> this sock has been stolen the whole time, but we're going to make it work, right? And we do have one little step after this, which makes it kind of just hits it all off. And let's go ahead and attach this one little side here. All the way down. Come on. And grab that and bring it down. I'm just bringing it downwards around the nose. The part where I didn't cover with the beard. Because his nose is so huge. And I just didn't pull that down for far enough. Get that off the hands. Okay. And you can always pull the beard up there and glue that as well little pieces of it oh perfect there we go okay now the hat um let me raise you slightly so you can see the last step the last step is going to be his little hat we're going to bend it down and then i'm going to take this top piece the part where the toe on the sock is and we are once again going to go ahead and use a twist tie is it over there no i want a twist tie but that's good Oh, I want a snail skin try, tie, I should say. Oh, I did toss them all back over here. Let me just grab one. Got my good old shoes up there. My puppy likes to eat my shoes. Shame on that puppy, right? <laughs> Anyways. Well, go ahead. You're just going to adjust this. I know we got the foot part in here, but that just gives it like that baggy look. And that's, that, that's what we're after. But now... I'm sorry, my mouth is so dry. <sighs> it's because of being sick, my allergies. We're going to take a piece of snail stem. You can use a rubber band if you want. I'm going to use the red snail stem. And we're just going to twist it on here as tight, literally as tight as you can get it without ripping off the hat because the hat's still kind of wet. Well, hot, so it's wet, of course. And we're just going to get that in there nice and tight. You could cut these. Um, I think I will in this particular case. Got to make sure they fly down there so I can throw the pieces away. Throw them away immediately, guys, if you're not going to recycle them. That way your little wee ones don't get it. Push the snail stems down so the sharp points won't cut anybody. Here's all our very last step. Go ahead. Cut the toe part off. It does not have to be perfect at all. You're cutting off the tip of the toe. And then you're going to open it up. Now this is a fun part. My scissors hate me. But you can see why I use them for everything, right? And you're just going to cut these as far as you want them. And you're now making the little tassel on the top of your little big nose gnome. Let me get a hold of the pieces here. And just make them as thick or as thin as you want them. If you make them too thin because it is a pull-away type sock, Dollar Tree sock, they will tend to unfragile. So if you just make them a little decent width, they're pretty good and they tend to last. Come on. There we go. And of course, you always got to find one that is stubborn and just doesn't want to cut so now we go back to the other side I guess if I turn it better that way you guys can see I'm just literally just making little strips in the top part try not to cut your actual main part of your sock if you can help it and if you do you guys um rig it put a pretty little design there Glue the sock where you cut it by accident, glue it, and then put something there to give the gnome a little decoration. And nobody be the wiser, and it will be solid. So let me cut that little piece off there. So it won't really matter because nobody will know, just you. And it will be nice and snug and sturdy. So when you decide to keep or sell, it won't matter. It'll be perfect. Now, I know my, my thing poked through. That's because I was pulling it. 
you just simply poke it right back in there, you guys. My eyes are not good enough to do that. I felt myself kept snugging at it, so that's my fault. We fold it. And we'll just pull it right back through. Come on. I know you made a little hole there. We'll fix it. Oh, well, I guess you didn't. Yeah. I'll fix it. No big deal. And we're going to fluff this out. And we adjust him just a wee bit. You can adjust his hat however you want his hat. So, now we have twins gnomes. Big nose gnomes. We got our little big nose. And since they're rice, you know, they're like bean bags, basically. They're cool. And the motor you hear running is Franz again. He's allergic to everything. His allergy pills are just not working. Poor doggy. So these are all big gnome gnomes. I hope you guys like this. We set them aside. Once again, once you get all the light and everything cleaned up, this pretty much does not shed once you get all the little pieces off of it. So you're pretty good with that. And there's his big nose. You can adjust it all you want. If you want more of it to show or last, it's up to you. I'm going to bring you guys down so you can see him just a little better. We'll bring this guy over here too. And I pull his down. So, you guys, please, if you don't mind, uh, subscribe and click the bell button. And scroll up a little and just click all on the bell. And you'll see everything that I do when I come live or post. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for being here and be blessed.